In this video, I want to talk about the function. So what is a function? We have already seen and worked with function. For example, here, int main is a function that we can put some parameter inside this function. Or the printf function that we have used before a lot is a function also. For example, when we write printf, this is a function that can receive parameters inside these brackets. We can write, for example, hello, it will print hello. This is also a function. But now in this video, we're going to talk about how to make our own function. Why do we need to make our own function? You know, sometimes we need to repeat the code throughout our program a lot. In order to avoid from repetition, we use our own function. We make our own function and we put that codes inside this function and we can use those codes just by calling the function. In this way, we can optimize our program or by using the functions, we can easily debug our program. So let's go ahead and make our own function. So here, we have to make our own function before the main function. This is an important point. We cannot make our own function inside the main function. We have to make it before the main function. So here, I'm gonna int, for example, add, and I will open bracket, and I will give it two parameters. For example, int a, int b. I open and close a curly bracket. So here I'm going to write int sum equal to a plus b. Most of the time, our function must have a return. And here we write return sum. So this is our function. This first line is the declaration of our function. And these code inside these curly brackets are body function. And the whole code is function definition. So here, inside this main function, I'm going to call this function. So here, I'm going to write int output is equal to, and here, I'm going to call this add function. I'm going to write add bracket. Inside this bracket, I'm going to write two parameters. For example, I'm going to write 10 and 20. And I'm going to print this output variable. So I'm going to write printf output. Person D backslash N output. So here I'm gonna compile that. So as you can see, the output is 30. 10 plus 20 is 30. So what did happen here? Here we said that our function named add. The add is the name of our function, and it has two parameters, parameter A and parameter B. Inside this function, we made another variable named sum. We said that sum is equal to a plus b. a plus b, the result will be sum. This function will return the sum of a and b. And here inside the main function, we made another variable named output. We said output is equal to this code. What is this code? This code is add this add function. This function needs two parameters. First parameter, second parameter. And here we gave to that function two Parameter, first parameter, second parameter. This is basically A and this is basically B. And this function gave these two parameters and add them together. Here, here inside this function, we said that you have to add these two parameters. We printed this variable because we said that this function should add these two parameters together and sign the result to this variable. The sum of 10 and 20 is a 30, and we sign that result, that 30 to the output variable, to this variable. So we print this variable that is equal to 30. So if we change the parameters, the answer will change. For example, if I make the first parameter to 50, the answer would be 70. If I compile it, as you can see, the output is 70. Let's add the first variable and the second variable together and output the result. So this is the basic about the function. And what if we have two functions? three functions or maybe 10 functions. For example, if we have functions like that, two function, three function, four function, in this way, the main function will be at the bottom of our code. We have to look for and find the main function. This is somehow a miss. In order to get rid of that, we can write our function body at the bottom of the main function. For example, I wanna delete them. So for example, here, I wanna move our own function at the bottom of the main function, I will copy this function declaration and put it before the main function. And I will put a semicolon 
after that. In this way, our code is clean and we don't need to find the main function. Even if we have 10 functions, for example, functions like that, it's easy to find the main function. So in order to make our code clean, we just put the function declaration before the main function. And the whole function would be at the bottom of the main function. So if I compile this program again, it will work correctly. So I want to compile it. As you can see, the answer is also 70. If I don't put this semicolon here, it will return an error. And compile it. As you can see, it returns an error. So when we put our own function at the bottom of the main function, we have to put the function declaration before the main function and put a semicolon after that. Now, if I compile it, it won't show an error and it run correctly. Output is 70. So this is the basic information about the function. See you next video and bye for now.